Hey everybody, Joe Creator here. Today we're gonna to be looking at whether a video that goes with a song can really improve it. And to do that, we're gonna be listening to Pink Ocean, Fencer Haiyang by Jay Cho. I already said that I quite like the song. Let's see if the video can really create some attachment to the song and whether it goes with it thematically. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Hi, So cute. Is that his child? I think so. Wait. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, so that is his child. That is Romeo, his five-year-old kid. And what's awesome is that like the first article that I clicked on was Jay Cho saying that he's already displaying some musical talent. So maybe in a few years time, we won't be reviewing any Jay Cho, but we will be reviewing some Romeo. It's super, super sweet that he's in the beginning of this video like this. He already looks like a pop star, to be honest. It's the way he's dressed and how comfortable he looks in front of the camera for a five-year-old child. But let's carry on listening. Let's see what happens. So I think they're in Australia for this, right? And they have the exact blue house. Just like in the lyrics. So sweet! And uh, that wannabe? I know. There's the pink ocean. What does grind me up is the fact he's wearing trainers in the water. <laughs> right? Oh god. Must be so uncomfortable. That's a really cool shot. Ah, so It just actually is just making me smile just watching the video, it's so cool. Like, is there anything more innocent than this kind of video here? So good. I just think that this adds uh, meaning to the lyrics. So we know that the lyrics are about this unconditional family love. I think that's really portrayed so well by the video. Obviously it's displayed quite explicitly um, and straightforward, but I just think that the aesthetic, the really like bubblegum pink colors mixed with the upbeat arrangement and everything is just coming together so nicely here. But take your trainers off before going into the water. <laughs> The only other thing is this sounds a lot more like the banjo in the front rather than these ukuleles they're holding. But it's cute. So that's it. Is there anything else to say apart from that he's done a really good job of just infusing visuals with this video? I just think it's really, really wholesome and just adds to the whole vibe that he's going for and the aesthetic. I think what Jay continues to do really is just make sure that he's got that vision boxed in of exactly what he wants to do with the music and with his song. Actually, I think that that's one of his greatest skills is just having that vision. Even though these songs might not be as impactful as his older ones on the music industry, he still holds everything together nicely. But anyway, thank you, thank you again so much for listening to me and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.